this is the start of about five weeks that we'll spend on the cardiovascular system. This week is focused on blood. So blood is one of the three main components of the cardiovascular system. Um, and then we'll talk about blood vessels and the heart after that. So let me write down those three components. Blood vessels, heart, and then blood is inside the blood vessels and heart. The function of the cardiovascular system there is diverse. Um, and so I'm gonna go over them. Some of them are more obvious and more applicable for what we'll talk about for blood function specifically, but they all actually apply. So first is the most applicable to the blood. The main function of the blood itself is transport. So transport, oxygen, carbon dioxide, glucose, other nutrients, hormones, immune cells, other cells, wastes, urea, um, lots of stuff. Super important. So that's going to be a big one this week, especially. Um, next one is blood pressure. Blood pressure, you usually think about being um, related to your heart and blood vessels, and it is, but you also need to have the blood in there, the fluid to maintain pressure. So we'll talk about this mostly when we get to um, blood vessels, but it's a role of the cardiovascular system, right? So maintaining blood pressure is key for your body to get blood flow. Your tissues need to be perfused with blood. They need that blood to get there. Um, and especially your brain. So cardiovascular system needs to maintain blood flow um, via blood pressure, particularly to the brain. Last one is closer related to blood pressure, but it's a little different. So this is um, maintain, so this is maintaining blood pressure, um, maintain fluid volume. Now, part of fluid volume would be in the blood vessels, so overlaps with, with blood pressure. However, fluid volume also needs to be maintained everywhere else. So where is that? Um, so also in the, in the tissues, um, the spaces, so interstitial space, and actually inside the cells. Um, you need your cells to stay full of fluid. That hopefully isn't changing. Um, so roles, functions of the cardiovascular system, you will not fully understand all of these until like five weeks from now, several mini exams from now, because it's a lot of information. Um, blood itself is the focus of this week. Blood transports cells and other dissolved materials. So hormones, nutrients, wastes, um, throughout the body. And then also has a role in immune, um, immune function. So this is obviously very important for maintaining homeostasis, all these functions. The one other thing this week that I'll touch on is the lymphatic system. Lymph is another type of extracellular fluid um, and also plays a role in immune defense. So it is going to overlap in structures and functions with the blood. So I will touch upon that this week as well.